Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web. And today we're gonna uncrate the anti-gravity ATZ-10 lithium ion. What's up, Speed Addicts fam? Before we tell you all about another anti-gravity battery here today, subscribe to the Speed Addicts channel. That way you'll stay educated, up to date on the latest parts and gear coming your way. Working hard for you, subscribe. You don't have to worry about missing out. Also, if you'd like to support us here at speedaxe.com, we really do appreciate it, and it's as simple as just shopping with us. If you need a battery, head over to that link in the description. It'll take you to the anti-gravity selection over at speedaddicts.com. And of course, while you're over there, grab a helmet, grab your next set of gloves, whatever you need for your vehicle or riding requirements, we've got it at speedaddicts.com. So anti-gravity lithium ion batteries are our preferred lithium ion battery here at speedx.com because number one they are u.s owned and operated hqs actually not far from us here in southern california and they were founded by a californian which is very cool we like that they're also high quality high performance and one of the easiest upgrades you can make to your bike you're going to reduce weight you're going to get more cranking amps you're going to get more standby time all sorts of good stuff as opposed to that old school lead acid battery that you might have in your bike right now so the atz10 it's a common battery in a lot of leader bikes, a lot of Japanese leader sport bikes, CBRs, and, and also a lot of quads. So 360 cranking amps is, um, is a lot. Like, you know, um, smaller sport bikes or singer, single cylinder dual sports probably need about half of that, for example. So this thing's going to retail for $199. You're going to get their patented restart technology. This is a feature that they have on most of their batteries that are meant for street or occasional track day use. They do have specific racing batteries, which are a little bit lighter, but they don't have the restart technology and they're not recommended for street use like this one here is. This is what you want if your bike is a road going machine, because if you leave your ignition on, you run the battery completely dead somehow, you leave the stereo on, whatever you're doing, you're going to come back to your bike. It's not going to start. You're going to open your battery compartment and just simply press this button. It will unlock a reserve charge. Your bike will start. You will not be stranded and you will be happy that you bought that anti-gravity with restart technology. Pretty cool. Also, you'll notice this has four different battery terminals so that you can mount this in any machine, no matter which side your negative or positive uh, cables may be coming from so it is ambidextrous also in terms of mounting it they're going to give you a couple shims because the batteries that this is replaces are kind of um, might be slightly different your compartment so if you need to shim this out it's got adhesive on the back and then foam on the front side you should be able to uh, make that happen for you they also give you shiny new um, hardware for your terminals here the case size of this actual battery is going to be 5.9 by 3.46 by 3 0.62 that's all on the site at speedx.com we got all the specs 360 cranky amps means it's going to pack a punch 12 amp hours and 2.6 pounds it's lead acid cousin for example the ytz 10s is seven pounds so it's a huge weight savings for the money and that battery only has 190 cranky amps that lead acid battery so this is a big jump now, if you haven't had a lit or a lithium ion battery before, do note that you're going to need a specific lithium ion uh, battery charger. We sell those. You'll see it as a frequently bought together item on our product page. Uh, the Optimate is one that we like, but anything that says it's compatible with uh, lithium ion vehicle batteries will be able to charge this. You can't use a lead acid charger unless it specifically says that. Now, lots more standby time. If you disconnect this, make sure you don't have any uh, parasitic draw on it if you're going to store your bike for a number of months or something like that or even a number of weeks you will get about a year of standby time out of lithium ion battery that's something a lead acid battery just can't do so that's very nice you're going to also get twice the overall life of a lead acid battery and anti-gravity is backing up these claims with a three-year warranty first year is full free replacement the second and third years are going to be prorated okay so you want to save weight you want more cranking amps. If you have, you know, a number of accessories on your machine, you have stereos or more lights, you've got navigation, something like that. That's good. Those are all great use cases for a lithium ion battery. And like I said, we really like the anti-gravity brand. You still got questions. You're not sure which one you need to buy. By the way, 
These are the models that this particular anti-gravity replaces. So if you have any of those in your machine, if you're not sure, if you're checking your model number and it's not coming up, go to our page. We have vehicle fitment. You should be able to find your way to the right part number for your bike. And if you're not sure, again, our rider support team is ready to help you over the phone, emails, or live chat. If you've got experience with anti-gravity, let everybody know how you like it in the comment section below. That's all I got for you. See you next time to find out what's in the crate.